Good morning, sweet friends. Welcome to my back deck. It's a beautiful morning and I'll show you around. We've got a few clouds. The sun is shining. I've got a garden to plant. I've got all of my, I'll, I'll show you over here. I've got all of my little seeds that's growing. It needs to go out in the garden spot. I only have two little spots. I'd like to add to that, but I'm not sure it's gonna happen this year. Sorry, everyone, a portion of this video is going to sound terrible. I do have a head cold, but you know, we must press forward. Before I get started, I wanted to welcome you back. And if you're new here to my channel, welcome, I'm Rebecca. I will be creating new thrift videos in the upcoming months, more decorating videos for all of the different seasons. Today's video is a collaboration with Emily over at her channel called Gridiron and Grace. Emily will inspire you with her decorating skills and motivate you in her cleaning videos. And she will entertain you with her charming personality. Her information will be in the description box below. Be sure and go over and say hello and let her know you came from my channel. My goal for this potting bench was to achieve a chippy look. So that I have achieved. After using my potting bench to plant all of my seeds, uh, I've created such a mess to clean up. Now it's time to clean it all up and add a few of my items that I have on hand as well as a few thrifted items that I found that fits perfectly on my potting bench as well as in this collaboration with Emily. My husband made this potting bench for me and it was from an old table that sat on his grandparents' a place in West Virginia. So we didn't know what to do with it and I told him that I showed him a picture of one that I sort of liked and he said, I can build you one and voila, here it is. Okay guys, I thrifted this from Goodwill just last week, and it's very, very heavy like concrete. I would love to spray paint it gray, but I didn't take that time to do it yet. Uh, since Larry is the best spray painter, I'll have him do that when he, uh, when he is on his uh, staycation at home, and uh, he'll spray paint that for me. But for now, I'm gonna Take the $3.99 off of it, and I'm gonna set it right here. And I can put a live plant, or I can put a faux plant on it. And for right now, I've got uh, some other things that I thrifted. I have this beautiful pottery planter, and for the spring, how cute is that little bird and flyer on there? And I got this for $2.99 at Goodwill. And I'm going to take the price off of that. And it's pretty heavy, so if it gets a little windy, it's not going to blow away. And that's one of the main things about putting things out here on my porch. But I got that for $2.99. It says Emerson Creek Pottery, Bedford, Virginia, 1995. And I can turn it this away to where you just see the white side or in the spring if I wanted to put colorful flowers in here but for now since we're going into summer I'm going to turn it around and use just the white side. Another thing I have is I have some thrifted green greenery here but I just added some of my little daisies that I had on hand and I'm going to add them to the pot. Hopefully these don't blow away. How cute is that? I love it. I'm going to move this one over here so that the wind doesn't get to it. I thrifted this little basket. They called it a basket purse. We'll see. Unfinished basket purse, $6. And I thought what I could do with that is I have all of my seeds here in little containers. And I thought I could put them right down in there. 
pumpkin seeds, all kinds of seeds. There's some zinnias, sunflowers, and some more snow peas. So I'm just going to put those in there and they're not going to blow away. And I'm going to set that right back there. I have this little thrifted slate sign. I'm going to go ahead and lay that down. It says, I love gardening and a slate. How pretty is that? This is not thrifted. This is something that I purchased came from, it came from Cotton and Creek. These are just adorable. You see me I have them in a cloche inside. And right here, I have some little wildflowers. And I think I picked these up at the Dollar Tree. And they're beautiful, and they will bloom all the way to the fall. But I put a little in here in this, and we'll see those sprout up eventually. One other little thing that I have, this is a little bird that came from Hobby Lobby years ago. And I'm going to set it out here. I love it. Moving forward, I added a few more items to complete this look for summer on my back porch. I added a thrift basket hanging on the side of the potty bench that I can grab it and go pick some veggies from my garden. I added a metal urn planter along with some terracotta pots on the bottom shelf. I also added some jute string to the I Love Gardening slate sign and I hung it up right there. How cute and adorable is that? I placed my live ivy plant in this white planter I recently thrifted from Goodwill. Over to the right of the bench, I added my vintage step stool, an old watering can with some outdoor faux greenery, all thrifted items. I think I achieved a great spot to enjoy my plants for the summer and didn't break the bank doing so. I hope I have inspired you to create a great little plant space for your porch or your outdoor space. Guys, thank you for bearing with me with this head cold. I wanted to share some scripture with you. Ecclesiastes 3.1, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Thanks for being here, guys. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.